Hey everybody, this is Scatter. Welcome to a brand new thing uh, that I'm doing, uh, which is going to be some Minecraft Let's Plays. Um, this is going to be Divine Journey 2. This is a mod pack that's been in development for 16, wait for it, months. 16 whole months, that's almost a year and a half. And it claims to be uh, an expert mode mod pack that is not grindy. Uh, we'll see about that, I suppose. Um, all this seems seems good. I'm just gonna leave everything default. I'm gonna key smash a little bit for the. Uh, for, that's way too normal. Let me try that one more time. Okay, that's fine. I'll leave that for the seed, and I'll you know show it just in case you wanna play along with me. But let's get into it. Just leave it new world. Classic plane. Don't need anything more than that. So this seems like a pretty good mod pack. Uh, in terms of the mods that are present. Um, it's very progression heavy, you know, if you don't know kind of what the expert mode mod pack scene is, it's kind of a lot of, uh, you know, heavy progression based mod packs. They change a lot of the recipes and make them harder. Um, a lot of them have the different mods that you have access to kind of overlapping with each other. So say you need some items from Botania to make some items for Mechanism, for example. But um, We'll see what's up with this one. I am underwater. Uh, this is on Minecraft version 1.12.2. So let's just see where we've spawned. And that looks pretty okay. This, I'm, I'm not hating this, uh, this spawn. It's a little plain looking. Um, I see a single tree. Uh, okay, I see multiple trees, but it still doesn't look that real interesting let's see i want to know is this like a beacon type of thing okay if i can find like a forest and some trees perhaps then maybe that would be somewhere we would like to go and set up camp yeah, i'm not really sure i haven't touched this mod pack yet this mod pack this just came out today uh which is an interesting thing about it okay we've got some some stuff there what do we have here? Bag of Truth locked. Okay. Okay, we've got a welcome book. You are a fallen angel that has one purpose in this world. Find the meaning of life. Fortunately, however, it's already in your inventory, locked up in a convenient bag. Okay, so you need a key to infinity to open the bag. Beat an entire expert mode pack to find out what's in the bag. Gotcha. Okay, so that's kind of the, uh, the gist of this one here. Progress through the mods in order. Sure. Given the tools. Automation. I like that. Okay, modded Minecraft. I am, am experienced with modded Minecraft, at least a little bit. Don't really have too much uh, late game stuff. I usually kind of give up uh, when I do this kind of thing, uh, when I get to the more grindy aspects. But this one's supposedly not grindy, so we'll see how it goes. Early exploration, tech mods, magic mods, astral. Different from Divine Journey 1. I don't think that I've played Divine Journey 1. Um... But I have heard of it, and I know people do generally like it. This one, hopefully, is going to be even better. Let me, you know what? Let me go ahead. First of all, I'm going to crank the volume a little bit. And second, let's turn this GUI scale up a little bit, because that seems a lot better to see for me and for you. OK, let's see if we can find a single solitary tree that isn't one of these big Thalmcraft trees. Also, <laughs> hang on. Brightness, bright. Okay, smooth lighting was off. Okay, I knew something was weird. <laughs> I knew something was weird about that. Let's crank the render distance up just to 16 should be fine. And yeah, all of that is fine. We got to turn on clouds, right? It's not Minecraft without clouds. Okay, that's looking a lot better to me. It's no, you know, it's, we're not in Shader City, but it's at least something. Um, a little bit of an underground spot right there but are we really not going to see any trees like i'm seeing some mod trees some mod based trees but not too much in terms of somewhere i would like to set up shop also that was a lot of lag for a single player game which is kind of weird um i'm not going to sweat it it's pretty dark here oh we're under the slime island is why so okay we've got journey map on Let's hit, uh, I thought it was, no, J probably for journey map, right? Yeah. Oh, that was really loud. 
Not sure why that was so loud. Okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing... Okay, maybe northeast here is going to be somewhat of a forest, and we can gather up some wood. Let's make our way over there. So yeah, so exploration, it seems like, is uh, going to be an early focus of this mod pack, which is fine. Um, exploration. You know, not my favorite part of this type of game, but, you know, if they're going to make me do it, then let's go all in. Um, and that's going to be all right. I have no idea what this biome is or why there's so much black ground. Um, not really sure what they're getting at or what that is kind of supposed to be. Let's see. Black granite. Okay, interesting. Maybe like, maybe there's a volcano nearby or something like that. I think granite comes from lava, right? Maybe. We all know Minecraft is very realistic, so it must be. It must be that case. I'm, I can probably make this jump into the water, right? Okay, yep, we're fine. And so there's some trees here. I don't know if we have... I visited a forest, okay. I don't know if we have any kind of vein miner. Um... Or excavate, vein, uh, ultimine. Looking like no. It's possible, but it's looking like no. Let's open up the quests, and let's see what we got going on here. The journey begins. What is Divine Journey 2? DJ 2, sure. We'll go with that. Expert pack, yep, long time, sure. Expensive recipes. Find the meaning of life. We got that in the bag, uh, in a sense. Infinite, infinity ingots. We need a lot, not truly infinite. Okay, that's fine. So vanilla Minecraft, tinkers, love some tinkers. If it's not too um, obscured, you know, if it's not too too gated behind other uh, advanced stuff, which it seems like it's not going to be if it's early game, which is always good. Um, AE2 early game also is really good. Uh, I find that usually some one of the parts of these that kind of puts me off is, um, you know, having to keep track of, like, Stacks and stacks and stacks of all these different kinds of items. So, yeah, so that's going to be good. Um, I'll check out some of these bugs or some of these quests, I mean, in a little bit. Uh, I love that jingle. But, yeah, I didn't see anything there quickly about a, a vein miner. So I'm just going to assume that there is not one. And let's just move on. So it looks like we do still have to punch some wood to get us started here. And I'll just do that for, for a little bit. Not sure if the uh, you know super basic like crafting table, furnace, pickaxe, all that kind of stuff is going to be different from default, uh, but we'll find out. So let's just see here. We got some wood, and we got some apples as a reward, which is nice. Not maybe the most necessary thing, but it's fine. We got some food. It'll come in handy. Crafting table ain't so easy. Okay, so here we go. Need a wooden pickaxe head and a tool rod, and then combine them. So it's going to be... One of these deals. All right, so I assume that wood and sticks are still going to be the same. I assume that they're still going to be the same. So they are so far. It's fine. So we make our tool rod there, and we make our pickaxe head. Can we make any other sort of tools? We make the axe head. Okay, let's just go with that. Wooden axe, you know, not the most necessary thing in the world, but better to have it than not to have it, I think. And we can kind of hit him with one of these. Hopefully there's some kind of tool that, like, is going to mine all of these uh, wood blocks, at, all these logs, I should say, at the same time. So I don't have to kind of do this. But, you know, it's a really early game. You can't uh, be too picky. Okay, we can just go ahead and get some free wood, which is fine. Okay, so now it wants cobble, coal... And it wants some dye from flowers. So just basically normal Minecraft stuff. That's fine. That's fine. What is this stuff here? Quartz or copper, I assume. Yeah. And some aluminum. Okay. So none of that is going to be mineable right now. Let's see some amber up there as well. Um, just cobble, though. Just some stone would be fine. Not sure if there's any of that around here, though. We might be in some kind of granite biome, and it's all going to be granite, which is fine. Let's um, just dig down a little. Just one, you know, I'm not going to go too deep with this just till I hit some stone to see if I do. And yeah, if it's going to be granite, I'd rather it not be granite. I don't know how far I'm going to have to go to find some cobble here. 
Maybe granite just functions the same way, but if the quest wants cobble, that's probably going <laughs> to, if that very first quest, you know, it's probably going to lock a lot of stuff. Um, if that's some kind of spider. Oh, no, that's probably a crab, isn't it? It's a red and it's on the beach. Kind of don't want to mess with him. Wait, what is it? King crab, yeah. Let's stay away from him for now. Wonder if we can just find a better area that's going to be more of a traditional, you know, cobble-based thing instead of all this granite non nonsense. Um, yeah, I don't know. So if this is all granite, this area over here that we started in, uh, with the bright grass and the no trees, that's probably more of a normal kind of thing. Let's just see. I don't know if the mountain is just going to be all dirt or what. Diorite? Okay, well, diorite, there's no way the entire biome is just diorite. There's going to be diorite. Is this marble? It's andesite. Okay. If there's diorite and there's andesite, there's probably cobble, right? And that is not quick to mine with the uh, <laughs> with the wood pick, but that's all right. So andesite cobblestone. I wonder if that's going to kind of function the same way. Let me make tools out of it and whatnot. Because that's all I see. Diorite and andesite. Okay, let's just find out. Andesite cobblestone. Okay, we can make tools out of it. And that's just a regular stone pick head. So that's just totally fine. I'm not sure if we're going to get the quest completion. If we don't have the actual, you know, cobblestone cobblestone. But maybe, maybe it is going to be worth it to go look for some. And maybe, you know, you never know what the mod pack kind of changes in terms of textures either probably not it's probably not gonna change too much but maybe some of these caves are gonna have something you can get some cobblestone while we're at it some gray whack copper ore uh never heard of gray whack ever in my life but it does just give us regular copper ore when we mine it so that's interesting but yeah kind of hurting in the way of stone um what is this quartzite Man, let's just keep going here because, oh, man, I'm not going to be able to keep going, am I? This is rough. Okay, it's fine. Um, well, we found some coal while we're at it. Does it want a few for the quest? Probably does. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna get, get a few anyway. It's always a good thing to have a few of. There we go. Just mine out this vein. And before I even finish that, let's just use that all for torches. They'll get used. Oh, I didn't even know that was kind of an overhang type situation. I was going to climb up it a little bit, but I'm going to have to go in another block. Line it up. Oh, did I get some regular cobble? No, green schist cobble, but I guess it still counts. The andesite didn't. Uh, maybe I just didn't have enough of it. So maybe they're expecting us not to be able to find normal cobble. Which is, you know, fine. Yeah. So like I said, I'll just finish mining out this vein here. I think some of the Tinker's tools have, like, vein mining on them. Oh, I can get the quartz, too. Is that going to be regular? That is nether quartz. Okay, interesting. So we're not going to have to go to the nether for that, uh, which is convenient. But it is getting to be nighttime. Um, so now feels like a good time to uh, lock ourselves up just for the night. And we can... Oh, <laughs> bad time for that. But in the meantime, let's put a torch down so I can kind of see what's going on, which is hopefully going to be nothing. But in the meantime, let's just have a look at these quests. Okay, so we got our cobble. Cobble or any base stone material you find underground. Don't forget about ore excavator. So we do have ore excavator. Um, okay, well, <laughs> um, excavator. It's just called excavate. Okay, I'm going to change that to a mouse button. So, okay, that's really good to know. And that just works on, on anything. 
Uh, it didn't do much now just because I had, um, you know, uh, like one durability on the pick, but that's fine. Okay, but that's good that we know about that now. Uh, we got some XP, which is cool. And we're going to get a really shitty bow and some arrows, um, uh, which is interesting. This pack did uh, claim to give you useful rewards at every stage. So I'm not so sure about the usefulness of this one, but I'll try to make some use of it. Um, no longer we need to bring excess wood with you for sticks to craft torches. Put together two pieces of cobblestone to get stone rods and use them to create stone torches. Okay. So we don't need wood for torches, which is fine, but I mean, you know, I, I was fine with using wood for torches. You know, you kind of get what you deserve in Minecraft, you know, if you don't take some wood down with you when you mine. Very useful tool, although in this mod pack, maybe not so much, just since, uh, you know, it's not going to be a uh, super useful if you can't craft a crafting table the normal way. Okay, so now it wants another stone pick, which is fine because we are going to need some more anyway. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I didn't put the, the head in my inventory. So let's just make the ingredients. Make sure they're both in the inventory. Now it's going to complete the quest. Okay, a couple leather. Leather's always kind of annoying to get. I never, um, I never want to set up like a, a mob farm or anything. I just find it kind of annoying. I'm going to have to do it, but that's okay. Undamaged stone axe, stone pickaxe, and two crafting bases. Interesting. So what's that going to be? That's two longs and two planks. Okay. Do I have enough on me to make that right now? I do. That does seem like kind of an annoying way to <laughs> make a crafting table, but that's fine. Okay, so I'll just make another one of those. And the axe was... Not that, this. And then, there we go. Should probably just be using JEI for this, but we'll get it. We'll get the hang of it. Okay, but we have a crafting table, so that took not as long uh, as it may have otherwise. Uh, you know, I've played SevTech. You know, SevTech, it takes you like two years to get a crafting table, but... Uh, yeah, here it's not so bad. So I'm going to go ahead and get jungle sapling. Probably more useful. Probably doesn't make a difference. I can find them both pretty easily. But we do have storage drawers, which is very nice. Very, very, very nice um, item to have. Very nice mod to have. Um, we got the storage drawers in. Let's just bookmark that. Chests are going to be not the normal recipe, but just a little bit of extra wood and an iron nugget. So we're not going to be able to get that yet until we get iron. And then a hammer creates rough iron mesh out of iron ore. What the hell is that for? Is this going to be the only way to get ingots for now? I really hope not. Okay, no, we can smelt iron ore. But can we get a furnace, though? Block of coal? Iron rod? Okay, no, so we can't get a furnace without iron. So we're going to have to do this. Let's just do that now. Exactly one stick left over. Got ourselves a stone hammer. Berry medley. It's fine. I'm just going to go ahead and eat. I'll eat the pumpkin pie for now. And then we just got to find iron. What's the deal with this? Not for setting up servers, playing as a team. Okay. Not going to be doing that. Bugs. Heavily tweaked and edited pack. All right, make sure you have the latest version. Okay, yeah, you know, I kind of know all this stuff already. Just generally, you know, keep stuff updated. And don't, re don't report bugs that aren't real. I'm going to go ahead and just not do that. Not worry about it. Uh, questing. Yes, I've used these quests before. Not sure there's going to be too much to know. Just some, some cool gooey stuff. Claim all. Zoom to fit. Very nice. And then we can just go back there, yeah. Okay. That's fine. How about this other stuff? JEI. All right. Now, I like to think that I know my way around JEI. Maybe there's some stuff here that I don't know about. I'm just going to skim it quickly. Show recipes. Show uses. Scroll wheel to change pages. 
backspace previously viewed recipe. Show all recipes, which lists every recipe in the game. Wait, I didn't know about that. Hang on. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's, I mean, not at all useful, but it's cool um, that you can do that. <laughs> okay. Fluid to item transformations. Okay, so this is going to be, we're going to need this to get our first block of iron, or our first iron ingot. Burning essence. Oh, that's why you need the yellow dye? Huh, okay. Uh, interesting, interesting. I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to have to worry about that for too long. I don't think, so that's going to be fine. Shortcuts. Pressing T. Okay, so breaks if bibliocraft blocks. That's fine. This has never actually worked for me. Is it going to work now? Like, T is not doing anything when I press it on, on items, but maybe that's just because there are no items in chests nearby. What it's supposed to do is if you press T on an item here in JEI, maybe it also works on inventories, but I didn't think it did. Um, it's supposed to just close out and it'll, or maybe maybe it doesn't automatically close out, so maybe it does just work. But anyway, the point is, if there are any nearby chests that have that item inside, it'll, uh, you know, the chest will give off some particles and you'll, you know, if you're looking for an item, if you have like a thousand chests and you're looking for a particular item, uh, it's just a quick way to like search them, I guess. But um, yeah, usually it usually doesn't work for me, but I'm sure that I'm going to have to figure that out later. Shift T sends it in chat. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know about that. F3 and Q displays a list of all those shortcuts. F3 and H, advanced tool tips. Bit much. The benefit it adds is incredible. Oh, okay. G8, show chunk borders. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, F9, yeah. You know about that. Oh, this is something from Draconic, I think. So if I press P, if I press, maybe it doesn't work on everything. If you, it's, if you press P, you, maybe it's just because the torch is there. Let me try it down here. I don't know. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll have a look later. But yeah, it's just like hanging an item on a wall, basically. Pause on lost focus. Yeah, sure, whatever. OK, cool. But that's uh, these are all good to know. I might be coming back to that every now and again. So it wants me to get some clay, gravel, sand for grout, for tinkers. That's fine, but I don't think that's something that I'm going to have to be worrying about yet. I think for now, it would be better just to maybe mine a little bit. So let's see how that goes. And we do have ore excavator. I know FTB Ultimine is like a vein miner mod that lets you do some cool stuff. Uh, like, for example, you can set the shape of what you're mining, and you can kind of make it... You know, it, it'll make it so it, it'll just do this like kind of three by three or like three by one tunnel downwards or you can do it upwards and that's like an escape tunnel. So it's kind of neat, uh, but I don't have it. We don't have it in this pack, so we're going to have to make do. Okay, and it looks like the sun is coming up, so I might just save this because we probably won't have to mine down too far to find iron, right? So... Not going to worry myself too much about it. Take the crafting table, just because it was kind of annoying to make it. Rather not have to do it again, even though I'm sure I will end up doing it again. Let's just go down in this cave. See how far this goes. Hopefully I find a little bit of iron or anything. I meant to jump, and it didn't, but that's fine. Half a heart is fine. And we do have health regen in this pack uh, from Hunger, which is <laughs> very normal, but... Uh, I've recently been playing FTB Interactions, which does not have that. Uh, and that's kind of annoying since you have to make like a bandage or some sort of similar item to heal at all or just, you know, die, eh, which is annoying for a lot of reasons because then you don't spawn with like full hunger. You know, it's it, it's whatever. I would definitely call that one an expert pack. Let's grab some of this. So we can go down a bit. We hear some some enums, but that's okay. That's some iron there. All right, did that not mine the entire vein? Maybe it's because it's a different type of stone, which is fine. Dark stone. I hear something. Oh, that's a bad place to fall. 
I probably should have made a, um... <laughs> That's kind of loud, but... Yeah, I'm gonna... Crank that down a little bit. Probably should have made a sword or something, but... We'll manage. Uh, what I should have made is more picks, though, for sure. So let's just go ahead and... Hopefully those stack. Okay, they do. And let's just make a bunch of these into sticks. And hopefully these also stack, which don't see why they wouldn't. That's at least nice. You can carry, you know, stacks of the uh, handles and the and the heads, and then you can just make the tools as you need them. That's pretty good. Oh, that's oil sand. I'm not going to bother with that. But a bit of mining. It does seem... I don't know. I think this is this is like just how Minecraft works. But something about it right now... Probably just because I'm trying to talk over it. But... Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, I didn't do that on purpose. Okay. Uh, let's... Try and mark this a little bit. So I know how to get out. Oh, my God. Okay. Anti-spider? What the hell mod is that from? Okay. Um... Hmm. Might not want to go too far down here, but I do kind of want to as well. Okay, some coal. Okay, I was starting to think the vein mine didn't work on like ores, but looks like it does. Maybe it was just the uh, different thing before. Oh shit! Just fall, just fall, just, please just fall. Okay. I thought I was far enough away that that wasn't going to happen, but whatever. It's fine. I see some osmium. Uh, what the hell? Inferium. That's from... Oh, something. Uh, mystical agriculture, I think. I don't think I've actually played a pack that uses that in the world. I think it just you just get it from other sources. And we are running out of inventory space as well. Is that the oil sand dripping down? I don't know if that's how that works, but... Yeah, okay, so we got iron ore, copper ore. It's nice that you don't get like a billion different kinds of ore from the different stone types in your inventory clogging it up. Let's just get some cobble here and... Bridge over a little bit. It's not a big gap or anything, but just kind of scared of falling like a baby would be. Uh, that's oil sand again. Is this, no, dark stone again. All right. So I feel like I should be kind of looping around to where I fell, uh, but at the same time, I'm not seeing that. So maybe I will just have to backtrack. Yeah, I think I will. Let's just try and get up to the surface. Should not be that difficult. Yeah, so it's going to be around... Where the hell? Okay, so there were the anti-spiders. Okay, so it was here. It's not like I fell that far. I pretty much... <laughs> I, like, didn't fall at all. It was just kind of... A couple of blocks. It felt much worse at the time. Okay, nah, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Now, if I could find my way out of this whole area that might be something okay and it's just right here so basically <laughs> i i had been exploring uh way less than i thought i was if i go down here just scope it out well, let's just scope it out and I'm, I'm forgetting already what you need to make a chest i think it might just be was it uh not a trap chest Okay, yeah, so it was the iron nugget, and then, right, I needed the iron rods for the furnace is what it was, okay. That's why I was a little confused. Okay, but I think... So I don't have anywhere to put them, but I do have an inventory of, of resources a little bit. I think that's going to be a good place to end this one, though. So if you've watched this far, thank you for watching the first episode of Divine Journey 2, and I hope to see you on the next one.
Goodbye.